Having taken into account all of the limitations of the video camera on the mobile phone, it's still quite possible to shoot good quality news packages. Before starting trying, I advise you to look at the chapter on video. Um, in that chapter, the rules that are explained with a DSLR camera are pretty well the same rules that you need to apply when shooting with a mobile phone. However, the simple things that I'd like to outline to you is first, tripod. Trying to keep a mobile phone steady in your hands is very difficult, much harder than a well-balanced video camera. So I suggest that you always try to have it attached to a tripod. You can use that tripod to get steady shots without moving the camera at all. You can also use it as a monopod if you are rushing around. Um, and even as a steady cam, it's, it's better to try and hold it, the camera on the tripod as you move around following a subject than holding it in your hands. You're going to get a far steadier shot. Now the basic rules are the same as we described in the video chapter. You want to make sure that you take 10 seconds of video with a wide shot, a medium shot, and a close up, and have plenty of options. Just keep shooting 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, and wherever possible, have it locked down on the tripod, not trying to move it. That's gonna give you your best option. When you're doing interviews, try to get the microphone as close to the source as possible by using a tie clip microphone and an extension that is going to improve the quality of your sound no end sound quality is very much about proximity the closer you are to the source the more loud it is and therefore the quieter the background sound and the clearer the sound that you're going to get from the person speaking now you've got to remember also when doing interviews that everything is going to be in focus so keep the background simple or relevant. Simple uh, uh, against a wall or against a, a, um, a piece of cloth or, or, or something that is very simple or, or a sky or relevant with something in the background that is related to what the person is talking about or the environment that they're supposed to be in. If it's going to be relevant try to make sure that you have a third with your subject on the third line facing across the camera and the other part of the, um, the, the image would be whatever is relevant, so a bit of a village or something that's happening. Keep everything really simple. Avoid camera movements as much as you can unless you are following a moving subject. That's the only time when you really want to try to do camera movements on a mobile phone. Um, there's lots of you need lots of variety of, of steady shots and, and clean sound from the interviews and if you have those two things you have a good chance of putting a video package together okay got it okay. Yeah. Yeah.